Understanding Bitcoin, Cryptocurrency, and the Blockchain What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a digital currency that can be used to do anything you do with any money. Buy things, sell things, etc. Now the benefits of Bitcoin are several. Cheap transfers. While through traditional financial institutions, you may have to pay fees whenever you want to transfer money from one place to another. With Bitcoin, transfers are typically free since it's from person to person. It's super secure. So as long as you keep your information safe, basically it's near impossible for anyone to steal your Bitcoin, manipulate the number of Bitcoins, uh, etc. Since Bitcoin doesn't have to work through any central financial institutions, privacy is as private as you want. You decide how much information you put out there through, over your Bitcoin transactions. Now, how do you use Bitcoin? Step one, you're going to set up a wallet. Now, an easy place to do that is at Coinbase. Now, if you go to libertydeal.info, there's a link where if you click on that link and set up your wallet at Coinbase, you will get an extra $10 of Bitcoin for the first $100 you buy. The next step would be to buy Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin's price fluctuates. So in that case, it is wise to not put all of your money in Bitcoin, but to put a portion just to have exposure to the Bitcoin market. Step three, spend the Bitcoin. Now you can either use Coinbase.com in order to send and receive Bitcoin. You could also send some of that Bitcoin over to a BitPay wallet by downloading the BitPay app on your smartphone, with which you can get a BitPay Visa card and then you'll be able to spend your Bitcoin anywhere that takes Visa cards. Other currencies that use the same technology that's referred to as the blockchain are called cryptocurrencies. Now other cryptocurrencies include Litecoin, peer-to-peer -peer coin, Ethereum, which Ethereum is also available for purchase at Coinbase. But an exchange where you can trade all of these currencies is BTCE, which is at btc-e.com. So what is this blockchain technology that I mentioned? Imagine a digital ledger of all transactions from one Bitcoin being sent to one person to another. That's what the blockchain is, a digital ledger showing all transactions. Except that blockchain ledger isn't located in one place, it's distributed over several computers all around the world by people who've downloaded the Bitcoin software and now have the blockchain on their computer. So this way, that blockchain is in many places, there's many copies and it's secure. Now some people set up their computers to verify these transactions, to make sure that all these ledgers match and that transactions are kept track of. People who set up their computers to do this usually refer to it as mining. And generally the reward for mining is that you get new Bitcoin that didn't exist before. Now imagine the same technology applied to keeping track of ownership of other assets like houses, like stocks, like bonds. This could really reduce the cost of transactions in many different types of assets and also help limit the amount of property disputes out there. And that's sort of the big game changing thing about this blockchain technology. To learn more about this and other topics, check out websites like learneconomicsnow.com libertarian101.com and alexmerced.com Also make sure to subscribe to the following podcast to learn all sorts of great stuff. The Alex Merced cast, Lines of Liberty, the Johnny Rocket Launchpad, the Remzo Republic podcast, the Tom Woods show, the Jason Stapleton program, and Contra Krugman.